Hey guys, welcome to another exciting edition of I Follow for Kids. You know, this entire series, we're talking about what does it mean to be a follower of Jesus. And we started the series by saying that being a follower of Jesus means that we don't stay in one place, that we go on an adventure. Following Jesus is the greatest adventure of your entire life. It's not always easy, but it is always worth it. And today, we're excited because we're going to be looking at another way we can follow Jesus. And the we there is actually really, really important. Because I follow is great, but really when we become a when we become a follower of Jesus, part of what we're doing is we follow. It's a group effort, which is why today the word is I plug in. So because following Jesus is an adventure, we're not staying in one place. We are actually going to a place on a great Saturday, beautiful Saturday morning here in Kansas uh, that I think is going to be fun. Uh, if you've been in Wichita, Kansas for any amount of time, you've probably seen the place we're going to. But today, since it's a Saturday, we're going to be able to get up and close and personal at it. So we're excited to visit this famous Wichita landmark. We hope you guys enjoy the ride. Let's go. So most likely, if you have been in Wichita for any amount of time, you've driven underneath this train. What you might not know, what I didn't know, was actually from Saturday and Sunday from 9 to 1, the Great Plains Transportation Museum is open, and you can get a closer look at this awesome train. Let's check it out. You know, if you've ever seen a train before, you might wonder, what's the most important part of the train engine? I mean, you got the throttle, and you've got the brake, and you've got all kinds of different things that help make this engine work. Today we're talking about I plug in. Well, what does that mean? When we're talking about following Jesus, one of the things that we need to realize is we're not really called to follow Jesus alone. In fact, Jesus had his disciples and he said, go and make disciples. And so it, it's a group project. You know, if you read the book of Acts, it has so many interesting stories about how the early church got started. And that word, church, is what I want to talk about today. You know, the Bible compares the church to a lot of different things. It compares it to the bride of Christ, uh, so their partners. Um, it compares it to the body of Christ. God, uh, Christ. Jesus is the head of the church. Uh, but the thing I would like to compare the church to is the engine. The church is the engine for what God is doing in this world. God is doing a lot of good things, but it requires that we partner up with what he's doing through local church. And what's fun is we're going to look at one of the, I think, the most important parts of the train. So obviously there's a lot of really important parts to a train, but one of the most important parts is this part right here is an automatic coupler. I was talking to one of the guys here at the Great Plains Transportation Museum. He said as long as both of them are open, it allows the train engine to link up with the cars that it's trying to pull down the tracks. So what does that have to do with following Jesus? Well, there's this really cool section of verses in the book of Hebrews, chapter 10, verse 23 and 25, that it talks about how we can spur one another on to do good works. Or you could say we can spur one another on as we follow Jesus. The other thing he says is let us not give up gathering together. You know, here's the thing. I follow is important, but really we follow is what we're doing. We, we have to do it together. That's why the, we said earlier, the engine of what God is doing in this world is the local church. And so if we want to be a part of what God is doing, it means that we hook up with our local church means you get to know the people in your small group. If you're watching online, reach out to us so we can get to know you. And when we do that, we will go great places and we'll do it together. So when we get connected with Jesus Christ and his local church, we can go some awesome places together. That's the point. We're supposed to plug in and get connected with one another. You know, if you are if you don't have a church home, we would love to get connected with you at New Spring Church. Plug into what we're doing. Maybe that means you come and you check out what we're doing in person, or maybe you're watching online and you want to come see what we do. Uh, that's okay. Just reach out to us online. We want to get connected with you and get the conversation going. In fact, one really cool way if you have kids that uh, you can get connected is by texting my SGL to 97,000. You know, as far as it comes to the the uh, automatic coupler for us here at New Spring Church, a big part of that is our small group leaders. And when you text my SGL to 97,000, we can get you connected with who your kid's small group leader is. 
And when we do that, we think we can go some pretty awesome places together. <laughs>